Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to pass record ID to a Visual Force page that will be added in a Lightning record page. Since uh, people are migrating from Classic to uh, Lightning, um, it is hard to develop a Lightning component instead of a Visual Force page. Uh, so temporarily, people will uh, start using a Visual Force page. Uh, in that, they will have a logic where they will pass the record ID. Um, it, it, it is not uh, hard coded or anything like that. Using standard controller, we will get the record ID. Um, so that was uh, very handy in uh, uh, um, say in, in using Visual Force page in a classic uh, Salesforce classic. Uh, similarly, in Lightning also the same logic is available. So you can utilize the same, um, and you can get the record ID. Uh, I have seen in uh, few developments where uh, uh, people are uh, uh, using Apex and they are getting the current page reference and then they are getting the record ID that is not at all needed using standard controller we can definitely get the record ID uh, without any co uh, additional coding. So let's see this simple visual force page. So I have standard controller is equal to account. Uh, account record ID is this particular account uh, account dot ID since I am using uh, a standard controller as account and make sure this available for lightning experience experience builder sites and the mobile app checkbox is checked once this is enabled and once you have added the light uh, standard controller edit the lightning record page and add the visual force page here here i haven't used any apex since i'm using account.id the id is passed so we can easily get it no need to have an Apex controller to get uh, uh, current page reference and get the record ID. We can directly get the record ID using standard controller. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.